welcome to my channel uh, if you browse around you will see i started this a while ago uh, a few years ago i have already probably uh, tens uh, 10 20 videos around uh, all kind of similar massage some exercise a couple of lives with, uh, with some exercise that i was doing but it was never really geared in a way to provide a real value and uh, now that we are in 2020s value is the most precious things that it can be delivered it can be exchanged uh, and personally what i what I'm, I'm here on the on the youtube is because uh, i wanted to give to you as an individual because I believe I have more uh, influence of one person than on the masses. The masses uh, can be influences in so many ways, but an individual is always uh, more receptive than the masses. The masses always will find excuses to say, no, we don't do that. But a person will consider why, why could I could do that, why should I not do that? So to start in, in this video I'm gonna first introduce myself and after that I want to talk about comfort zone so uh, we start with uh, my name is Andrea Croci I started a massage therapy uh, net, uh, and personal training at the same time so in 2015 I start studying what in Spain is called uh, caro massage which is not chiropractic it massage just using your hands like a Swedish style but more therapeutic that was great for a couple of years uh, initially uh, after about five months into massage of course my hands were not used to it so I started having pains and I had to find I, I didn't want I don't like pain but I don't like to remove pain and that's something we will talk in another video but I want to uh, understand the cause of pain and the cause of my hands pain was my massage so I don't want to stop doing massage I want to keep doing massage but not having to suffer pain because of the massage so the kind of, uh, of technique I was using was relying just on my hands so all my finger all the muscle responsible for my finger movements were uh, stressed a lot so that brought me to Thai massage where I could use the elbow I could use my body weight I could use my knees I could work on the floor not necessarily on the on the massage table and uh, that helped me a lot until I developed all the pains and that I had to introduce after probably another six seven months I have to introduce personal training for myself so after a year and a half I had to find a coach to lead me to better movement pattern and uh, that process is what really I think in my opinion allows me to share my view on how you can improve your own uh, muscle pain situation how can you improve your posture and by all by doing all that you can also become more productive in your work so it's directly it's directly related also to your incomes to your uh, emotional happiness to your family uh, area because uh, to be in my honest opinion if you are in pain if you're suffering if you're unable to move properly uh, properly you can't you can't be happy if you cannot be happy you know uh, if you're stressed out their stress is going to affect negatively your work your your efficiency at work your quality of relationship if you're stressed out and your wife says something that triggers you you're going to be rude 
you're gonna have a discussion if you have a discussion you know how you don't have a healthy relationship so everything is connected from it's connected with your inner alignment what my one of my coaches calls alignment what, uh, what i like to call it is more your inner balance if you have balance inside like the yin and yang in the chinese medicine the dark side and the and the, and the light side when you are balanced they're working when something is out of balance ain't gonna work just just by the this fact uh, why I'm doing I'm telling all this in related to comfort zone the comfort zone it's what most coaches talk about all the time you are in your comfort zone uh, you don't want to move out of your comfort zone you're not gonna do something that makes you uncomfortable uh, you're not gonna learn until you uh, push yourself out of the comfort zone the comfort zone is something that we've been calling that for probably decades because there's this idea that we are comfortable in it like you, you want to use use always the same pair of shoes because you, they're comfortable but when it comes to to this when it comes to comfort zone the reality is the name is totally wrong because most of the time in our comfort zone we still feel really uncomfortable Let, let's make um, a really real life example uh, i moved so many times it's my comfort zone to live somewhere for a limited time because since I was young, since I was like five or six, I don't even remember my first move. My mom, I think, told me that we moved even before I reached four years old. So we kept moving house in, in the same like town, uh, in the same nation, in the same regions for many years. Still today, I'm moving a lot. Just like today is May 2020, like until January, 2020 I was in Peru I was there for six months before being in Peru for six months I was in London for six months before London I was two and a half years in Peru before that I was one and a half year in Spain so it's going on and on and on from I'm 30 I'm about to become 32 in a couple in a few months since my childhood I moved so much and that's kind of my comfort zone but within that comfort zone that's like moving, being nomads and move around, which people always tell me, you know, you travel a lot. This might be amazing. You, you are a citizen of the world. That's uh, um, so inspiring. That's freaking uncomfortable. Because every time you need to start from zero, every time, not totally from zero, because of course each movement I do, some uh, to use some knowledge and you're going to reuse that knowledge and uh, that is going to help you to uh, improve each move you do but at the same time i i don't have well 90 percent of the population has which in the in the time of coaching that's i like it because to get what the night the the five percent of the population has so the five percent of the population which has more success is are successful the they have like cars and things that there are things that i would like for myself i feel like i need to be different from the masses so i keep moving around not to be equals to those who have nine to five job for 30 years at the same time, I don't still have anything of those 5% besides my health, therefore, that I put in this content. And don't get me wrong, this content to me doesn't come easily at all. I've been trying to record this video for about a month, and there's just this video. Every video that I try to make, it takes me a huge amount of effort emotionally, because sitting here in this empty room, takes the breath away 
if I do this outside, it's even worse because there are people around me and that's freak the hell out of me. Not because I don't like people, I like to be with people. If you put me in a room with other people, I can easily stand up and start talking for hours. But that would be my comfort zone. That would be comfortable. Talking to people about something uh, for hours, about anatomy, about why I have my uh, shoulder blade winged so they are outside and how what, what I did to try to fix their issues, I could talk for hours. But if you tell me talk for hours in front of a camera alone, my heart is pounding now. I just I, I it's very uncomfortable. And this video is just about sharing what I'm feeling because in between 2018 and 2020, uh, most mainstream uh, social media, it's about authenticity and uh, reporting. It's not about creating content. It's not about creating something like so methodically, method, methodically scheduled. I do this, I have it here, you know, uh, what to do for like YouTube, for YouTube channel, you know, create a hook, make a statement, introduce yourself. I'm kind of following that, but I'm reporting my feelings. And uh, I hope that is basically, that, that really is what connected me with my physical patients while I was in Peru, while I was in Spain, talk to people the way I am and showing them that they're not alone, they're not alone feeling overwhelmed or like I have this neck pain for ages, I've been to the physio, I've been to the chiropractor, I did exercise, I still have neck pain and the simple solution often is the more hard to find which if you have neck pain, probably you're on the freaking phone all day like that. And that's going to give you neck pain. So it's not about the fear, it's a standard battery. <laughs> it's not about the physio, it's not about exercise, it's not about chiropractor. It's about day to day, hour to hour action. So one of my one of the people that I like to follow, which is Robin Sharma, and uh, he has a huge amount of content and uh, books and podcasts. He say one uh, uh, daily small action will account way more than uh, a huge yearly task. So to give you an example. Uh, something very easy, you brush your day, you brush your teeth every day. Let's just for sake of number to make it to make it easier, you brush your, your teeth once a day, every day. That's 365 times that you brush your teeth. But if you switch that to weekly, which is still disgusting because we should brush your teeth every time you eat. But if you switch brushing your teeth weekly, so once a week instead of once every day, you switch from 365 times a year to 52, which is like a fifth or something, even more than a fifth. That is nine times less, a ninth of the of the time that if you do daily. If you do month, uh, like quarterly, every three months, you will wash your, your teeth four times in a year. If you do monthly, you do 12 times in a year. So you, you kind of, you need to understand, and that's the things I'm, I'm doing as well, because I, I, I would love to make this kind of video every day, and have like 365 video a year, but I could, I, haven't, I can even do a weekly one. In a week, I might record between 50 to 60 videos, probably, 
I'm talking video maybe a minute or 30 seconds, some kind of exercise. Uh, when I record the exercise, I may be probably out of half an hour, make like 10 videos because like three minutes per video, roughly. I don't share any of them. I maybe share a piece of that in a Instagram history and that's it because it's so freaking difficult and I I'm, I'm not saying that to, to tell you that I'm not qualified to help you or I cannot help you because I don't know what I am. I know exactly where I am and I'm working for it and because I've been working for it for the past five years and I can relate to your state of mind, the states is another video that I need to make. So comfort zone, states of mind, uh, how to resolve basic uh, pains. These are all the videos that have been, I know I have to, I have to make, I have to create contents since probably 2017, but it's so difficult for me. So what it makes it easier is feedback, is the support of a community and uh, the issue I found with my coach was that if I don't start sharing this video, like this one that has to be shared without overthinking about, oh, it's already 60 minutes and I'm talking by myself, people are going to be bored, that, that, that isn't relevant. That's my own opinion. That's not what's going to happen. Some people out of the thousands will not like this video and will move forward and that's okay. You that are still listening to me, you are the one that she, that I hope will join and become part of my community and will demand more of this video so that will motivate me with your request. And uh, I'm using a empty room, so I shouldn't be in here. <laughs> so, the, uh, to go back, I have probably 30 or 20 videos on my Instagram TV because I was in Peru and I had like, amazing lighting I have the space, I have the time, I didn't have any like financial worries. I was literally in a comfort zone, I was comfortable there. But still I was I'm very uncomfortable to make video, but I had the I have the emotional support from my partner and my partner's family and my mom and my dad. So in that period I could make quite a few videos. And uh, now I'm, I'm, I'm just like stuck. So I'm gonna end this up here. I, I really appreciate like, comments, feedback, what you think uh, of what I've been talking for 20 minutes. Uh, any suggestion, anything you want me to talk about specifically relating to what I said. So like um, comfort zone, uncomfortable zone. And uh, pain related, as I said, uh, I'm just gonna close it up the video, like telling you uh, where since on my own journey to healing, I suffered from chronic migraines, which is something that used to be called like that genetic, because my mom suffered of uh, chronic. Um, Migraine, I used to suffer chronic migraines when re really was something unbalanced in my own body that I um, balanced out cutting eggs for a few months. And today uh, has been like two and a half years, three years that I'm vegan or eating on a plant base. Uh, I suffer for a wing shoulder blade. So my shoulder blade instead of be like stick to my rib cage. They were outside when I was relaxed. Now, uh, in 2015, when I started doing personal training, I started to work for it and with kinesio taping, uh, which is another argument that I can make a video. I didn't make a video about it yet. But with kinesio tape and physical exercise, 
I I decrease the uh, the weight uh, of my scapula uh, in a huge degree, in my opinion. I have a, either a rectification on my low back, so I have my uh, my hips that are uh, forward tilt, or so the, the the pubis is in the back. So I think that's that's backward tilt. But anyway, my, my hips are tilt, so that makes a lot of stress in the hamstring and in my uh, psoas muscles. Uh, I used to be, I, I was diagnosed with flat feet, and in 2017, uh, I did a, a, a review of that diagnosis, and I don't have flat feet, and, and at least not in 2017, but in 2010, I did have it because there was um, uh, X-ray that diagnosed it. And uh, I have an idiopathic scoliosis because I just in this moment I'm twisted. My, my knee is actually here. So instead of being here, my knee is here. So that I'm, I have an idiopathic scoliosis and I work every day. I work out every day to avoid pain for scoliosis which is another video that I still haven't made it and uh, that's all my that's the things I went through and I'm going through about video shyness so once I start the video I can talk like 22 minutes 25 minutes an hour but to start the video is emotionally difficult so if you experience anxiety anxiety related to like public speaking no anxiety as like illness like people in, in uh, close to me who have anxiety it's uh, awful but if you're feeling like uh, unable to function to improve your uh, lifestyle so you're not happy with where you are now and you believe that it's time and you want to take I put my offer to be your coach. Uh, I'm happy to have a conversation without any charges, uh, just have a simple conversation between two people. So feel free to drop a comment here on YouTube. Find me uh, on uh, any of the link in the description, so like Facebook, Instagram, and uh, I need, I'm working out how to get back on Google Maps because as I said, I move and it's very difficult to be on Google Maps if you move around. And I swear this is, this is it. So thank you very much for watching this video. Press following, subscribe to my channel. I'm not sure why you should subscribe to my channel because I'm not sure how many videos I'm gonna make, but there are already some videos, so I'll go through them. And uh, feel free to reach out for me in any of the social media. And I think I'm repeating myself, so I'm just going to stop here.